In Rhythmic Trader, the dome window is known as the order book. On my left hand side here, you can see that I have an order book window open with the euro. Let's go over the interface to start with. In this section here, we can see all the information about our account, including our current position, whether we're long or short, and how many contracts, our total profit and loss, our average fill price, and we can also change the symbol that we're currently on, as well as toggle between our different accounts. So if we have a sim and a live account, we can choose which one we'd like to use. To the right is our quantity selection. These little hot bars here add to the current quantity that you have here. So you can change it via this numeric stepper and do a specific one. Or if I wanted to add 10 to this current one, I would hit 10. If I wanted to add 5 more, I'd hit 5. When I clear it, it's going to go back to 0. And every time I enter an order, it's going to reset back to the default. So by, I can hit 1 here and set that as my default. And now every time I enter an order, it's going to go back to 1 rather than 0. Above that, we have this plus and X. The plus allows you to add a new tab, and you can watch a different symbol, or you can watch the same symbol on a different account. Going back to the Euro one, below this information about our account and quantity, we have the show bracket and order cancels order entry. This is out of the, this is out of the scope of this video but we will have a future video that goes over these two types of orders. Below that we have our standard dome window look, which basically just shows us the ask and bid size at different price levels around the current market action. Highlighted in red is the last traded price, and over here on the right you can see the last traded volume at whatever level. In between these two bid and ask columns surrounding the market is our stop entry column, and our if touched entry column. If we're to click here, it's going to give us an if touched order window at whatever price level we choose on this T column. On this S column, that's our stop column, wherever we click, it's going to automatically know whether we want to do a buy or a sell order based on where the market's currently at. You can change both the if touched and stop orders between limit and market via these two settings right here. If touched limit, if touched market. Same here, stop limit and stop market. If you want to enter a limit order, you simply click on the ask above the market or the bid below the market. You can click above as well. To the left of that, we have our limit orders column. If we have an active limit order, it's going to show a lowercase b or s, depending on which direction we're going, and then the quantity at which we have this order. So if I went 5 at 1.4397 here, it would say b5. If touched is going to show the same thing as limit orders, but for our active if touched orders and stops, we'll do the same thing. Profit and loss here is going to show if we're currently in the market at these, pro at these price levels what our profit and loss would be. So it makes it really easy to enter a stop or enter a limit order for where you want to get out. Below this level 2 window here, we have, a, we have our stop settings, our if touch settings, our max quantity. We can confirm whether we want to enter an order or not, and our duration type of the order. And we can hide this via the hide order defaults. And then below that are just some hot buttons that we can quickly enter orders with. We can reverse our current position, go in the market, right then, long, cancel all of our working orders, go in the market right then, short, 
and cancel all of our orders and close out of any open position if we do have an open position. So if I go back to order defaults and I choose market if touched, in this T column, at whatever price level I click, it's going to bring up an order ticket window for a market if touched. See that? Market if touched. On my symbol, at my default quantity, and I'll have to choose whether I want to sell, buy, or sell short. And the release order when is saying when we'd like that order to be placed. Do we want it when the last price gets there or when the bid or the ask gets there? And we can say whether it's greater than or equal to, we can set conditions here. And the price, of course. The stop operates the same way. I can choose a stop market or a stop limit order. If I do stop market, it's going to tell me automatically that I have to sell, being that I'm below the market. If I do it above, it's going to do a buy above the market. And limit orders are entered the same way that you would enter them on any other dumb window. I'll do my price at a price level, and it'll pull up a sell ticket window here, and I can adjust my quantity and limit price. And the same goes for the buy side. The show more options here uses the max quantity that we have down here. Account templates, if we have any of those, which we'll go over in a later video. Release set, we can set when we want this order to go off. And cancel after. We can say if we're not filled after so many seconds, then we want it to just cancel the order. Let's go back to this max show quantity, and we'll discuss a little more in depth over what that does. The maximum show quantity controls the amount that you're willing to show the market that you're going to trade. So if you placed an order with a thousand contracts and you did a display quantity, a max show quantity of a hundred, then only one contract of those hundred is put on the market. When those hundred contracts are filled, the next hundred will be released to the market. In future videos, we're going to go over modifying orders that are live on this dome window, as well as bracket and order cancels order entries. Thanks for watching.